Uh, time to focus on a couple of stocks that have done very, very well. That's PFC as well as REC. Digant Harya, co-founder at Green Edge Wealth Services, joins us to help us analyze both these two stocks as well as the other stocks in the banks and the financial space. Hi, Digant. Good morning. Thanks so much for joining in. Well, uh, you know, these both these two stocks have caught everyone's uh, attention. Big re-rating being seen out there. Simple point, how much of the good news is in the price? I'm looking at a brokerage note. They're saying that these guys, they are guarded from any kind of slowdown in retail consumption because they have a focus on the past space. The past sector on the whole is looking much better, so this could be an indirect play. But how much is in the price at these levels? Uh, thanks, Nigel. Morning for good morning for having me here. And, uh, you know, you asked the question, how much is in the price? I think a lot of it is in the price. You know, if you look at last six quarters of results given by PFC and REC, there's been absolutely no growth in the net interest income. So whatever growth in the loan book has come has been taken away by the compression in the margins. So the numbers are yet to play out. So right now, it's all about the narrative. Uh, you know, we've all been discussing that the electricity sector is doing really well because India needs more, uh, you know, conventional as well as renewable, as well as, you know, nuclear, ethanol. A uh, lot of these energy transition themes are playing out together. So there's a lot of excitement that, yes, a lot of growth is going to come in the future and that growth will sustain. It's not just a flash in the pan, but that growth will sustain. So I think uh, if we talk today, uh, you know, the stocks in December are probably at 0.4 times price to book on March 25. They've re-rated to something like 1, 1 1.1 times price to book. So, you know, the first big move in a sector where narrative is good always happens uh, without numbers. I think the numbers will follow. Numbers will follow in the next one or two years. Uh, but yeah, I would say that a lot of it is in the price. Uh, it should not be getting carried away. The story is strong. Mm. But yes, uh, it, it does warrant some bit of... Uh, you know, caution at this point. <clears throat> Digant, uh, these stocks are now at uh, morning, they are at about one-time book, uh, according to uh, a note from Dam Capital. Uh, so, uh, not get ca so how should one, what should one do if you don't own it, stay away? Uh, do you have a um, sort of spe specific recommendation, <laughs> actionable, so, if anything at so all? Prashad, I think we'll talk about, you know, what happened in the last cycle. So, see, the last good power cycle actually yeah. happened between 2009 to 2013. In that cycle, for the first time, we saw that private sector was participating in a very big way. And PFC, REC both got a new avenue for growth. Earlier, they were only lending to the state and the uh, national power companies. Uh, they started lending to the private sector. At that point in time, Prashant, the loan book CAGR was 25%. The names expanded from something like 3.5% to 4.5%. So the earnings were growing up by 35-40%. And then stocks re-rated from, say, one-time book to something like two-and-a-half times book. And after that, we saw that the private sector massively went in for bad times. You know, even the government sector or the DISCOMs or the state electricity boards, as we tell them, they went into a lot of stress. And, uh, you know, the PFC, RECs of the world, they de-rated from two-and-a-half times to 0.3 times. So what I'm trying to tell you is that these stocks are deeply cyclical stocks. They are dependent on one sector and which is largely driven by the government. Uh, so, you know, one should not get carried away that they will go back to two, two and a half times. They may get carried, you know, they may actually go to, uh, you know, that two, two and a half times if there is a lot of liquidity bull market narrative. But we have to understand that today we are talking of a loan book growth potential of next five years of 10 to 12 percent only. Uh, whereas in the last decade when they rallied, we were at a much higher loan growth. And even now, the margins are not going to be as high as the last decade. So I think, uh, you know, one must not expect very high returns from here. So don't get carried away. Don't expect high returns. And in any case, these stocks have rallied, what, 90% right in the last six months. So I take your caution on board. The two other issues, and before we wrap up this discussion, wondered your thoughts on them. One is NPA resolution, which has been a problem for the sector on the whole. And the other is the steep losses as far as discoms are concerned, right? On these two elements, have things improved for either of these companies? Uh, absolutely, Sonia. So for uh, NPA resolutions, uh, you know, a lot like last four years, the GNPs have, you know, become half from 7% to something like 3.5%. I think uh, that's no longer the issue. We've already seen PSU banks cleaning up their balance sheets. For PFC, REC, that process started last year. It will continue for one more year. And then NPAs are far away. I think they are, uh, you know, something 2027-28 is when we can start talking about NPAs. The new cycle has just begun. And that is why there is a lot of excitement on 
uh, you know, on these stocks that, you know, now there won't be such a big problem. But because of this excitement, I think there will be a lot of pressure on margins. So if you understand that, you know, the discoms have always had really bad health. Uh, but, you know, there is one discom which was always in good health, which was the Gujarat State Electricity Board. They bought, they give only 2 2.5% margins to PFC REC. But someone like a Tamil Nadu Electricity Board who is in problem, they end up paying 4 4.5% 4 margins to PFC REC. So, you know, as the electricity sector reforms happen, PFC and REC will have to, uh, you know, compress their, their margins will get compressed over a period of time. So, you know, good news, but bad margins, you know, something like that is what can happen in the future. All right, Degan, final question before we let you go. Now, IRFC, that one is speeding ahead. Last five days, it's up 30%. Now, that's already trading at 1.7, 1.9 times price to book. Uh, I mean, how do you view that? I mean, these stocks are still at around 1, 1.1 times odd. So your view on uh, IRFC and uh, could that be a reason that these stocks get a little higher multiple? I think so. Uh, you know, there is no reason why, you know, if, uh, you know, if we make those relative companies, if IRFC is at two times, why would PFC, REC not go? I really don't have an answer. They can really go there. But we have to understand that price to book multiples are given to businesses where there is sustainability of that 15% growth and sustainability of 15% plus ROEs. So here we can see three, four years of sustainability. Beyond that, it's very difficult. But but yeah, it's a, you know, we are in good times and you know who who wants to think of 28, 29, 30? You know, we are <laughs> thinking more about 25, 26. So you cannot rule out a rally, but you know, let's not get carried away that they can trade at multiples of HDFC Bank someday. That's not gonna happen. No, I think in good times is when happens, you should uh... Digant, in good times is when you should think about these things, right? And uh, sort of uh, keep yourself in check and not get carried away by the moves, as you said. Uh, that's some very sane advice. As always, thank you for joining us. So, just, and if, uh, since we have, sure, sure. Uh, have Digant, maybe just ask him uh, to list out what he really likes from an absolute return perspective from here, Digant. Uh, so, in the entire financial space, I think CV financiers are something which, are, you know, where the upcycle will be longer this time. Uh, Microfinance is something where the up cycle is longer. So, you know, something like a Sriram Finance uh, should actually do well. The stocks are cheap. The ROEs and growth potential is very high. Uh, then, you know, something which is at the intersection of microfinance and CV finance, something like an LNT finance where there's a new CEO, there's a turnaround possibility, and the underlying sectors have strength. I think these are the stocks which can, uh, you know, uh, really have a fundamental upside as well, just beyond the liquidity driven rallies. Okay. Uh, by the way, in pure microfinance companies, what is your top uh, top pick? So, in in pure microfinance companies, see the good ones. Uh, Prashant, they already rallied. Like the credit access and the Armans of the world are at four five times book. So, unfortunately, we have to look lower. Someone like a Bandhan Bank has gone through four years of pain. They're talking about turnaround. So, a Bandhan Bank or a Spandana who is turning around could be good candidates. Purely because the cycle is good. Uh, I think the, the good companies are already at four or five times. So, you know, we can't really play those. But yeah, I think these turnaround candidates have a fair chance of re-rating and delivering good numbers. Mm. Okay. Always a good chat, Degant. Uh, thank you for joining us. And I hope to see you more often here on CNBC TV 18. Appreciate it, uh, as always.